Hello, this is my first tutorial for some time um, and I'm going to be uh, doing something in Krita which is the open source paint program and um, I'm going to talk about creating a custom brush which I call the vary or variable line thickness brush but let's say we're talking about a, a quill or a nib so there's a bit of personality to it so it does you know in the real world it does uh, accept a bit of pressure and so you do get a variance you do get some thickness and some thinness but overall it's meant to just maintain a consistent line thickness um, and it's not a brush it's a pen so it's a different look um, so anyway let's get on with actually uh, creating that and uh, let's see if I can remember the uh, steps involved. So you have to open up um, a new file. I'm setting it at 300 dpi. Create. Okay, so the pen I'm going to uh, be creating is something that looks like this. Okay, you can see it's, a, it's got some variation there in the line. Here's a thinner version of the same pen. Generally speaking, here's some more versions, different types. So, um, what I here's a thick. I think this is the thickest one here, very thick one. Uh, so, what I do is I create different thicknesses. So, um, the way I prefer to work here is rather than changing the size up here. You can see you can do that, but. Um, the settings that the custom settings don't necessarily work for the different thicknesses. So um, I prefer to just create a bunch of different brushes at the different thicknesses because we really we're talking about creating kind of like a nib pen uh, that you know you, you you would have a set of these and they'd be in various different thicknesses and you'd probably only use at most two or three different thicknesses for any sort of artwork um, so you don't really need to have this sort of unlimited changeability of thickness up there for this type of pen so anyway create a new uh, layer here to work with and um, the way we create the pen or customize the pen is to start with this other pen the uh, this pen here which is your standard uh, line work kind of pen and it's just called uh, the fine liner you can see it says it down here so it's called the fine liner there's this other pen here as well called a ink G G pen and that's kind of like a, it's got a bit of thickness and thinness to it at the beginning you can see it goes starts thin there and it, and it starts thin and it ends thin depending on the pressure you know I don't want to use that pen I want to use this a standard non-variable line work pen and, um, and so we'll open that up so I'll go up here to that icon you'll see these icons you know depending on what you click down here you'll see the same icon up there so uh, clicking on that one again open up the settings and this is where we can customize it now uh, if we look down uh, in this general menu here um, you can see there's a lot of things that can be turned on and off and uh, currently we've got size turn ticked and we've got um, strength ticked if we look at size you can see this opens up and we've got uh, we've got pressure we've got speed that's all we've got ticked in here and uh, if we click on pressure you can see the pressure is starting from here and going to there so it's going to a hundred percent so there's not much pressure on this pen you can see that it does start thinner and it goes to its thickest here um, so that's here and you can see that if we whoops see if we uh, move this around you can see it gets very thin to thick okay um, oops 
that uh, we will just want it back where it was, which was sort of about there. In fact, I'm um, just going to, um, if I click on this little recycle, uh, then it will just bring back the same settings. Okay, so obviously every time we change something, that comes back on, and it means that if we don't like what we're doing, we can click on this and it goes back to its original original settings. The only thing we have to do actually um, to create this variation in line is to add, we have to click on distance. So we click on distance and you'll see that, um, we'll see that this has happened. Okay, if I draw over here in the scratch pad, I get something that looks like a dash. What's really happening is it's going from thin to thick, thin to thick, thin to thick. Um, and it's, you know, there's a distance. If we change the distance, um, that's in length. Okay, so length. If I click on length, you can see that I can change the distance there. So at a dis distance of one, we've got this sort of almost like an ink blot paper look, okay, which is actually pretty interesting, and that's that's a good look, which I'll probably create a brush with that look actually, because I think that's was missing in Krita. Um, but if I add to the distance, so I can try to drag that up. 380, I found is a good um, number, but you know you can drag it all the way up to like uh, nine nine thousand. But uh, that's too long for what I need. So I found that 380 was pretty good, and I'm having trouble doing that with the pen. So I'm going to just do it with the mouse. There we go. You can also type in a value, so you could actually just type it in three 380. Okay, I found that was a good distance, 380 pixels. I presume it's measured in pixels, yes, it says PX. Okay, so you'll see that um, it's going from thick to thin over that amount of distance, okay? Um, so now we have to actually play with this graph here. So, and while I play with this, I want you to watch what happens up here. So I'm going to take that line there, I'm going to bring it to the midway point, and I'm going to bring this one down. So this is just flat lined midway. So our five pixel width uh, pen is now really probably 2.5 pixels, okay? And I need to add some variation, so I'm going to click in here and just start to um, add some control points. And I'm just going to have some uh, thickness here. This will go down to not quite down, back down to there, but sort of midway, I think. Uh, you can really do whatever you want here. You can see that the variation is starting to happen. If I let's just, you can see if I really make this extreme. You know, you can see what's going on there. This is not what I want. So I really just want it to be flatlined. Whoops. It's very easy to create um, points without, control points without meaning to. So I want something like this, I, I would imagine. There we go. It looks fairly, fairly random but not too random. Okay, so that's pretty good, I think. Um, I might actually push that all the way up so I get the full five pixel thickness and probably I want to take that up a bit more too. Might as well take that up a bit. And let's have a look at that. It looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm happy with that brush. So let's understand that all we've really done is we've added distance, we've played around with the variability here, and then we've actually played with the length so that we can spread out that uh, this value over the length of the line. Okay, 
So I'm happy with this and the only thing I need to do before I save this uh, new custom brush is to create a thumbnail. Now there are some options here. I think you can click on this and what's this do? Brings up uh, icons. I guess you can create icons or something. I have no idea how to do this. I'm not going to do it that way. I'm just going to um, draw an image. So I'm clearing it by clicking on that. I'm just going to draw um, this curly kind of representation of the, the line. I want to keep the original brush in there. So I'm saving a new brush preset and um, I'm going to change the name. This test variable pen. And uh, I don't want to use this icon, so I'm going to load scratch pad thumbnail. There we have the image that I created before. And uh, I'm just going to save this pen now, and you'll see that it's saved down here because I gave it a name that doesn't, uh, you know, doesn't fit with any of these. So it's sort of alphabetically gone down here. I'm not saving this brush anyway. I'm going to get rid of it. It's just for the tutorial. Um, so yeah, so we now have this new variable line brush which looks pretty good. I probably will not get rid of it because I think it looks pretty good. So I think uh, that's pretty much it. So I'll leave it there. And um, yeah, ciao baby.